Trello is a project management tool that can be used for any type of project. This can be used for personal productivity as well as for managing teams in your small business. Many YouTubers also use Trello for content creation. So let me show you my Trello account. I am on the free plan of Trello and I am allowed to have 10 boards. One board is used for one project. So these are my 10 boards and you get all the features in your free Trello plan. It is only limited by the number of projects and normally we are running only one or two projects at a time. So this is not a big deal. And as I mentioned earlier, you can use this for YouTube video creation, for outsourcing when you are getting help for your content creation. You can use Trello for any engineering project. Whenever I plan my next course, I use a board to plan that next course. You can plan, you can see your progress. And when I created Trello course, I created a board for Trello training. And that board I specifically used in my Trello project management course, which by the way, I have not still uploaded on my website, digitidea.com. Now the way Trello works is, let me show you my Trello training board and this will give you a feel of how Trello works. So let us assume that this is a project and in this project I have few team members and those are shown here. These are the four people working on this project. So in this board, one column is one list and inside this list there are cards. All these are cards and one card represent one task and one list can be organized in many different ways. As you can see that I have arranged these lists in a way in which you produce content. For example, preparation and recording. So these are the tasks which are in this stage. Then there are some tasks in the pre-production stage. Then there are few tasks in post-production stage. So you can name lists in any manner you like, depending on the nature of your project. If you want to learn Trello from the very beginning, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel and that should be your starting point for learning Trello. And I will be adding more videos into that playlist. But in this video, I am going to show you one specific task that is very important when you are managing any project in Trello. And that task is that sometimes you have to link Trello cards, boards with each other. Why you want to do that? And there are few ways to link Trello cards and boards. This is what I'm going to explain in this video. And most importantly, how to create a two-way link. So without further ado, let's get started. Now in this short video, we will learn how to connect two cards or how to connect a card with a board. So the first question again is why one would like to connect two cards? So there could be a few reasons for that. For example, uh, this is a card and on this card, this member is a new team member. You have hired this member and there are some instructions of uh, how to adjust the volume of a video. So these instructions are written in this card. You don't want to explain each and everything to this new team member. Instead, you want to connect this card, which has this audacity, which is a software. You want to connect these instructions in this card. And now this team member is working on this card. So this person has to perform these instructions. But you also want that this team member should know the instructions written in another card. So in order to do that, the card which you want to link you have to go in that card first so just click on this card and there is a share button and when you click on share button every card has a associated link so this is the link of the card so just I just copy this link into my clipboard and now I just close this and this is the team member where I want to ask him to look at the instructions I can add that card into this comment area description area or even in a checklist so let us say I want to add an item and I want to say that please read instructions and then I just paste that link here so it seems that it's a very messy link but as soon as I add this and you will see here that this is the title of the card so a Trello icon and the title of the card has been inserted so now this team member can click on this and as soon as we click on this we straight away go into that card which we wanted to link so here are the instructions and for example this is the 
tutorial video which explains how to perform this task. So the team member can click on this video and learn how to do this task. So this is one of the reasons you can you might want to link a card to another card. Sometimes also one specific task is common between two different projects. So then you might want to link this card to another board or you want a board to link to this card. So this is also possible. So this was one way of linking the card. Now just have a look at another way of linking a card. So for example I click on this card because normally there is a comment associated with linking a card that you want to know somebody that you want to inform somebody why you are linking a card so you write some comment so for example let's say you want to write down please look at this card and then you want to insert the card so there are four buttons here and the rightmost is add card if you click on this add card no it will show you all the title of the cards which are available in this board and at the bottom you will also see some other boards so if you click on this board this board will be included in this here and let's say i include this board and I save. So now we have included a whole board into our car. And when somebody clicks on this one, it will go straight into this board. So this is, for example, this is an old project and you want to refer this project to a new team member. So in that case, you would link a board to a car. So no, but this link is still one way link. We cannot go back from here to back to that one. So now let us see how can we do that. So before we do a two way link and now there is another way of uh, linking a card and this method uh, I like uh, the most because it looks very good, visually very good. And that is by using this attachment. And if you click on this attachment, and because that link is still in my clipboard so I can paste the link but if you instead of pasting a link here you can also click on this Trello and when you click on this Trello this is exactly the same menu which we have seen earlier when we clicked on, on this button so here are the cards the title of all the cards available in this board and you can also select a board to link with this card and now let us assume that I want to link uh, this card. So I will just click on this. And now as you can see here that this looks very good because uh, not only it looks like a card but also it has some details here. It has the title of the card and it also has the board and also the list names. So it has all the information. It has the name of the card, the name of the board and the name of the list. So this is a very good way of uh, linking a card. So this card is showing in this Trello attachments. So let us see if I want to link a board here in these attachments. So again click on attachment and then Trello and select any of the boards. Let us see I select this board. I know as you can see that we have inserted a board here which has the name so this is how you link a card and a board now the last thing is how we can make this connection a two-way connection because no this connection is one way if i click on this card i will go to this card but i cannot go back so let us see how we can make this connection a two-way connection so just go back again and there is a button here connect cards and if you click on this connect cards it will show you this uh, dialog box and here there is relate both cards so if you click on relate both cards now you will see a new icon has been added here and it shows one so one only indicates that one card has been related so if you click on this one you will go into this uh, uh, card and if you click again on this two here you will go back so this is how you make a two-way connection between cards so this was the last option in this uh, action area. We have now discussed all these options. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.